Good show, guys. Good morning, everybody. And breaking this hour, Fox News obtaining a new set of bank records linked to the Bidens. What they reveal about the flow of money, and a lot of it, from foreign sources all over the world. Good morning, everybody. Uh, that's where we start today. I'm Bill Hemmer, live in New York City. Good morning. Hello, morning to you. How are you doing tonight? Today? Pretty good. Late night? Oh, you can't cheat on a school night, can you? <laughs> you can. Right? Only do it once do it in a while. Once a week. Yes, that's right. I'm Dana Perino. This is America's Newsroom. We've got a big show mm -hmm. for you here. Yeah. House Republicans releasing the recordings, the record, excuse me, as part of their investigation into the Biden family. Now, we've been waiting for these for a while. And the documents show how those who contributed to Hunter's ventures were then seemingly rewarded with access to his father. So all that flies in the face, Dana, of what the president and his staff have been saying on repeat. Have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I'm curious if the White House and the president still stand behind his comment that he's never been involved and has never even uh, spoken to his son about his. So I've been, I've been asked this question a million times. The answer is not going to change. The answer remains the same. The president ha was never in business with his son. Chad Pergram is live on Capitol Hill. Of course, she does, she's been asked that question a lot. Her answer did change slightly, and we have noticed that. But what did you find out this morning from these new records? Dana, good morning. The question is, what was Hunter Biden doing to earn access to this money? Republicans on the House Oversight Committee say the new records detail a pay-to-play scheme, proof of $20 million sent to the Bidens from foreign business sources. Now, the committee says Russian, Ukrainian, and Kazakh oligarchs funneled money to companies tied to Hunter Biden. A Russian billionaire sent $3.5 million to a shell company associated with Hunter Biden business partner Devin Archer. Then Vice President Biden dined with the billionaire in Washington. Another example has Ukrainian money going to Archer and Hunter Biden. Later, Burisma put Hunter Biden on the board. The process involved a foreign country, a foreign national, wiring money to a fake company. Then the fake company would then turn around and wire the money to the Biden family members. They did this to hide the source of the revenue because they weren't supposed to get money from many of these countries. Republicans are trying to draw a line from these payments to the president. This isn't about Hunter Biden. This is about paying to play for the Biden family because the money goes to nine different members through shell companies, much like the informant said. The committee says a Kazakh oligarch transferred $142,000 to Hunter Biden for a sports car. Democrats contend there is no wrongdoing by the president. Archer himself said that uh, Hunter Biden was really trying to pitch the illusion of access. Uh, again, there's all of these threads of conspiracy that the Republicans have been unable to tie together in their political investigation designed to embarrass the president. Some Republicans talk impeachment. The GOP says this is just not pay to play, but pay to dine and drive. Dana? Wow. Chad Program on the Hill, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.